Hi friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to analyze a simply supported beam in ANSYS Mechanical APDL. So here is inclined load acting at point C on 60 degree in anti-clockwise direction and at point D the inclined load is acting at 30 degree and at point E the inclined load is acting at 45 degree and A and B are simply supported we have to find the stress and deflection and also SFD and BMD bit cross height to ratio is given as 200 mm by 400 mm and the Young's modulus is given as 2 into 10 to 5 newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio is given as 0 0.27 so we are going to analyze this problem in ANSYS Mechanical APDL and I am going to give the value of force in Newton instead of kilonewton and uh, so you have to convert in kilonewton into newton and also the distance in mm so first of all open ANSYS Mechanical APDL click on preferences click on structural now click OK now click on preprocessor click on element type now click on add edit delete click on add select beam and two node 180 hsa function now click ok close this minimize this click on material property then click on material model then click on structural then click on linear then click on elastic now click on isotropic and give the value of Young's modulus as 2e and Poisson's ratio as 0.27 now click OK now close this window minimize this click on section click on beam now click on common section and give it the value of breadth as 200 and height as 400 mm and click on preview to preview the cross section now click OK and right click here mouse and replot it to hide the cross section now minimize section click on modeling now click on create now click on key point now click on NFTCS and if all boxes are empty and when we click apply it will create origin so A is origin and with respect to this origin A we are going to plot the other key points so the second point is 2 thousand mm that is 2 meter and the next point is 4000 mm next point is 6000 mm and the last point is 8000 mm now click ok now we have to join all these key points through lines so click on lines again click on lines now click on straight line click here and here to join 1 2 here and here to join 2 3 here and here to join 3 4 here and here to join Four five now click OK. Minimize modeling. Go to meshing. Click on size control. Click on manual size. Click on global. Click on global, and then size. And now, give the number of divisions which you want between two key points. So I'm going to divide the line between key point in twenty divisions. So click OK. Now minimize this. Go to mesh. Select lines and click box and carefully select all the lines and now click ok the smashing is done now we have to go to plot and replot the lines after replotting you can clearly see the each and every key points and the uh, line between each and every key points so you can clearly see from this to this there is 20 divisions and the second node, third node, fourth node and the fifth node is here now we have to apply the now we have to apply the loads at this point and the load is inclined so what I am going to do I am going to again in modeling and uh, minimize this go to nodes and then click rotate node coordinate system and now select by angle now select the node at which we have to apply the load so select this node now click apply and you can clearly see the angle is 60 degree in anti-clockwise direction 
and the hair angle is 30 degree in clockwise direction so for anti clockwise you will have to give first of all you have to give 90 and then minus 60 the angle which is given in the inclined line now click apply now second second node and click apply and here we will have to first input the given angle of force so force is inclined at 30 degree and then subtract 90 degree now click apply again select this node click apply and give the angle as 45 minus 90 now click ok close this now minimize modeling go to loads click on define load click on apply click on structural click on displacement click on on key point select this and this and then click apply and select ux y uz and rotational x rotational y not select rotational z now click ok now we have applied the simply supported both ends now we have to apply the force so click on force click on nodes and select this node and then click apply and select here fy and the value of force here is 20 minus 20 root 3 kilonewton so 20 root 3 is equivalent to 3461 newton 34641 newton okay now click apply now again select this option this node and click apply select this node and click apply and again give the value as minus 60,000 newton that is 60 kilo newton now click apply again select this node and click apply and give the value of force that is 40 root 2 which will equal to 5658.556 newton with negative sign now click ok thus we have applied the force according to the given question now minimize this minimize this go to solution click on solve click on current ls click ok the solution is done now close this and close this minimize solution go to general post procedure and now go to element table and then define table this table is created for getting sfd and bmd now click on add and go to this column and select last option and type here 3 now click apply again go to this column select this option and type here 6 now click apply again go to this column select this option type here 16 now click apply again go to this column type here select last option and type here is 19 click ok so the combination of 3 and 16 will give bmd diagram and 6 and 19 will give sfd diagram now close this go to plot result click on deform and then select deform plus and deform now click ok so this is the deformation under the load and now if you want to see the animation of this deformation in 3d view then you have to go to plot controls first of all select a style and then go to shape and size and on it and click ok now go to isometric view again go to plot control click on animate now click on deform shape and select deform plus and deform and now click ok so this is the deformation of beam simply supported beam under the given loading condition now close this and go to counter plot click on order solution click on duf solution click on degree displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the displacement diagram uh, you can so you can call it as the displacement with respect to the position so maximum displacement is at this point and minimum displacement is at this point and the value of maximum displacement is here and the minimum displacement is here now if you have to want to see the this stress diagram then again click on order solution again click on stress bring down the arrow and select one vice stress now click ok so this is the 
stress distribution diagram and the stress is maximum and the minimum is at the same point so maximum is here and the minimum is at this point okay now you have to see now if you want to see the BMD diagram so click on line element result and select the first option in the first box and the third option in second box now click OK so this is the BMD diagram click here to get the actual view now if you want to see the SFD diagram again click on line element result in first box select SMIS 6 and last box select SMIS 19 now click OK so this is the SFD diagram of the given beam now if you want to see the numerical value of reaction then you will have to go to list result then click on reaction solution then select all items and now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding fx fy force and mx my and mz are moment now if you want to see the nodal loads then click on nodal loads select all item now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding force in xyz and moment in xyz are given here suppose and now if you want to see the nodal solution of DOF solution then have to click on DOF solution click on displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding displacement in xyz of each node and the maximum displacement of each node is given here similarly you can see the various result under the general post procedure tree by selecting that particular parameter so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel for more video and thank you bye bye